this presentation allow me to talk about what is called a lymphoma so initially i had got this illusion when i saw this case that this could be what is called a wandering fibroid so a wandering fibroid is also called a parasitic leomyoma so this lesion that you are seeing here was at the just adjacent to the umbilicus uh, at, at the right side so you can appreciate it from this end so when i saw it for the first time i was thinking that this could be a maybe a case of uh, a wandering fibroid or a parasitic uh, fibroid so i tried to interrogate it on color doppler and power doppler to see uh, if there was perfusion or not and then initially there was nothing We're using the trans abdominal uh, transducer i didn't see any perfusion so you can appreciate it this is a para umbilical uh, mass or lesion is appreciating it so again you can actually see the lesion uh, very confusing very confusing so it's looking like a fibroid looking like a leaf node so i couldn't tell exactly what it could have been so you can see you can look at it it was a solitary mass just to the right of the umbilicus you can see a solitary mass so it's now confusing what could it be what could it be what could that be so you know i also tried to check the uh, the uterus for any sign of fibroids and i didn't see any so you can appreciate that these uh, women uh, didn't have any sign of fibroids in the uterus so again this is where the puzzle was growing bigger and bigger i tried to interrogate it on color doppler as you can see here and you can see there's a bit of uh, posterior enhancement uh, so from this end i was very much convinced that this is a benign lesion regular in outline uh, at the same time there's posterior enhancement and using my trans abdominal transducer I actually saw that there was no perfusion so you can appreciate that we are missing uh, any perfusion so that was uh, the biggest illusion of my life however due to the years of experience that I have and the deception that I've seen previously I was not convinced so I needed a more convincing answer so I came now to add the a uh, linear array transducer so I, I i'm now using a linear array transducer instead of the curvilinear transducer i used before so you can see this is a superficial probe a high resolution probe and nicely you can see a heterogeneous lesion that is a regular outline with nice posterior enhancement is appreciating here so you can see it's regular uh and then it's looking like a fibroid so it's typical of a fibroid so from this end i also uh hear the conviction that this is a typical parasitic leomyoma or a wandering fibroid so you can appreciate it you can appreciate it uh closely then now i then used power doppler using a linear array transducer and you can see the matrix of the game change so you can see we have got the intra uh, lesion perfusion as you can see you see the perfusion the perfusion is very intense so you can actually see that there is global perfusion so from this perspective uh, alone it's now very difficult for me to then to say uh, this is a case of a parasitic leomyoma because the most typical fibroid they only have got the peripheral vascularity and you don't expect them expect to see perfusion in religion now so unless maybe they turn cancerous and then become what are called fibro adeno carcinomas sorry um fibro yes fibro adeno carcinomas so unless they turn fibro adeno carcinomas that's the way maybe you can see intra regional perfusion that is uh, a sign of neovascularization so 
this is the illusion so that was the greatest controversy so here was me guys i was stuck now with this case i didn't know what it could be so looking at it i again i uh, used my power doppler so from power doppler assessment you can see uh, the perfusion in religion perfusion that is more chaotic here as you can see or as you can appreciate so you can actually see uh the in religion of perfusion just like that so it is from this end then i said no this cannot be a fibroid or just a general fibroid so what could it be so this could be maybe a case of a lymph node uh that has got exaggerated or chaotic in relation of flow and then this only could be in keeping with a cancerous transformation of the lymph node that we call a lymphoma so i settled for a lymphoma then also recommended further investigation uh to uh, verify or to exclude the lymphoma but from this end i was convinced sonographically that we are dealing with a case that could possibly be a a lymphoma that was para umbilical in nature i thank you all for your time i wish you well and i wish you coping with the pressure and the growing number uh, of the videos that you are sharing i hope you don't give up or subscribe to our channel and also don't forget uh, to put your comments under the comment section of any improvements or any other suggestions that you feel can actually benefit your learning process as we grow. Thank you so much for your time.